Justin, what list do you use? I'm literally giving them to you. property avatar list, I'm going after the property, not the person. Do you guys understand the difference? Yes. The person is going to be going through something in their life that I'm targeting. The property avatar is just simply the property that I want to buy. The asset class, the value or price point, let's say, any type of equity, when the home was built, this quite frankly is the exact list. Like if anyone leaves this room and has a question, Justin, what list do you use? I'm literally giving them to you. I have roughly 350,000 properties that I would buy in Phoenix under this property avatar. There's five million people in Phoenix. Who, who believes they're in the smallest market here? What market are you in? Athens, Tennessee, population of 30,000. Do you believe you can find a deal a month in 25,000? It doesn't matter how small your city is, there are deals in it, okay? There are absolutely deals in it. And then you have your blanket list. This would be for in the smaller markets. This is likely the list I would use. I want every single person who owns a home, period. And let me figure out whether they're willing to sell or not, and whether I can either wholesale it, I can rehab it, or I can buy and hold it. So for those of you in those smaller markets, I would go after every single homeowner. Figure out the exit strategy, right? That's what you're trying to do. How many exit strategies can you have? Well, it's all dependent upon how the lead comes in and what they're looking to do. Can you lease option it? Absolutely. Can you buy and hold it, rehab it, wholesale it? Can you sandwich lease option it? Can you Airbnb it? Can you just all those different exit strategies? Absolutely. But you would be going after that.